To get Wi-Fi sync working on your iPod, iPhone, or iPad, you need to go into Settings, and you need to go into the General tab, and then iTunes Wi-Fi sync. Now, you'll see that this is not really configured because it's not uh, plugged into power and I haven't done something in iTunes. When you connect your iPod Touch or iPad or iPhone to iTunes, there will be a little checkbox that says, I want to sync this device over Wi-Fi, and that's in the summary section. So make sure you have that box checked and you've connected it to the computer, and then it will work over Wi-Fi no problem. So as you can see here, I'm connecting the iPod Touch to the computer. It's still there. And we are going to start recording the screen and take a look into iTunes, and you'll see there's the Lifehacker test pod. All right. Now, um, what we need to do in here is go ahead and check the sync with this iPod over Wi-Fi. Hit Apply, and it will be able to do that from now on when it's connected to power. So let's go connect it to power and see what happens. All right, we are connected to power, and we've turned on... Wi-Fi sync. So when we go back in here, you can see it's connected to my laptop there. I hit sync now, and it is now syncing over Wi-Fi. You can see it's even telling me the steps that it's going through, and it just finished. Awesome. And it will do this by itself when it when it's connected to power. So you can just leave it on overnight somewhere else. The problem is that you have to plug it in, which kind of sucks, but it's better than nothing. It is not it does not have to be plugged into your computer and your computer does not have to be explicitly bothered.